Understanding Cha Cha Cha, a fun dive into English phrases. Hello, language enthusiasts. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating and rhythmic phrase, Cha Cha Cha. You might have heard it in songs, dances, or even in casual conversations. Let's break down what it means, where it comes from, and how you can use it in English. Get ready for an exciting journey into this playful and musical expression. Cha-cha-cha is not just a random set of sounds. It has a rich cultural background. Originally, it refers to a type of dance, the cha-cha, which originated in Cuba in the early 1950s. The name mimics the sound of the dancer's shoes as they shuffle on the floor. But it's not just about dance. This phrase has waltzed its way into everyday language, often carrying a sense of rhythm, fun, or playfulness. In English, cha-cha-cha is used in several contexts. Most commonly, it's associated with 1. Music and dance, as a nod to its origins, it's often used to express enjoyment or participation in music and dance. Two. Adding flair or humor. Sometimes, people add cha-cha-cha to the end of sentences to add a bit of flair or humor. Almost like a playful exclamation mark. 3. Childhood rhymes and games. It's a popular addition in children's rhymes and games, making things sound more catchy and fun. To help you understand better, here are a few examples. 1. We learned the cha-cha-cha in our dance class today. Two, and then I told him, well, that's the way it goes, cha-cha-cha. Three, in a children's rhyme, happy birthday to you, cha-cha-cha. Notice how in each example, cha-cha-cha adds a distinctive rhythm or light-hearted tone. Cha-cha-cha is more than just a phrase. It's a little piece of cultural history that adds rhythm and playfulness to the English language. Whether you're dancing to the beat or spicing up a conversation, this phrase is sure to bring a smile. Keep practicing, and soon you'll be using cha-cha-cha like a native. Until our next language adventure, keep learning and having fun with English.